Thank you guys for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to cover the maiden of the Bixler quad plane. But before I do, I just want to say a thanks to my buddy Ryan who inspired me, sort of nudged me to get this quad plane off the bench and in the air. It's been sitting here for a few months now. And he volunteered to come to the field and film for me. So uh, be sure to check out his channel, The Garage Journal. He's got uh, really some cool design concepts and I hope that we can collaborate on more uh, content in the future. And before I play the Maiden video, which ultimately ended up in a crash, I just want to say that I feel it's important to share this information. I was hesitant to publish a video that ultimately ended in somewhat a pilot error, but uh, I learned a lot through the process. I definitely want to share that with you guys, uh, just hopefully to prevent others from having this happen in the future. So let's go ahead and take a look. Holy shit, it worked perfectly. Damn. It's slow still. Holy crap. Is it is it in fly mode? Yeah. Really? Yeah. There was no drama. I know. Let me get down just so we can double check that. Tell me if you see that. Yeah. The oh, yeah. The You're flying. Oh, my God, dude. I can't believe this. There was no drama. <laughs> All right, but but let, let me. Here's what I'm gonna do. That was unbelievable. Seriously, I I mean, look at the the quad motors. They're not even spinning. Yeah. I'm gonna just. Should I bring it back and and, and transition back? Yeah. See if you can hover. Okay. Wow. Man, this film and airplane business is hard. Huh? This film and airplane right. business is hard. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Oh, 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 what happened? <laughs> if you guys want to get the TLDR version of this, uh, basically what happened is I experienced a stall and the rest of the video will talk through uh, uncovering that thanks to the help of the Artupilot community. But I will say that from my perspective, I'm used to flying Bixler with autopilot or without, and it's all up weight is about one and a half pounds. I believe that with the quad plane conversion, I was pushing closer to four and a half pounds, so maybe a three X in weight. And if you're not aware, as you have your plane loaded uh, with more weight, you're gonna have a higher stall speed. So that's what I experienced. Had really not gotten familiar uh, with the flight characteristics of the Bixler quad plane. I was talking to Ryan, wasn't paying a whole lot of attention. Uh, my speed decreased. I took a left-hand turn, maybe a little too hard, but definitely under speed, and that's when it took a nosedive. I highly recommend if you ever experience a crash or an anomaly and want to dig into it, uh, make sure you pull your logs. I pulled the bin log off the SD card of Pixhawk, as well as the log from Q ground control and I was able to load it in mission planner play it back and the reason I did that in mission planner there's some really good tools that allow playback and you to look at uh, various data but initially when I played it back I noticed some compass issues right before the crash but that certainly didn't explain the nose dive so I posted in the Ardu pilot forums Andros Schaefer was kind enough to look at one of my bin logs and if you look here you can see that he's charted uh, our GPS speed. I did not have the airspeed sensor hooked up at this point in time and plotted that against the desired pitch versus the actual pitch and you'll notice that uh, my GPS speed is slowing down and right here I would say around maybe nine meters a second 
uh, you can see that the actual pitch just drops all the way down, whereas the desired pitch goes up. If you've done any research on the topic, you'll know that as you can see here that the desired pitch and the actual pitch should track nicely with, with each other. And they do up until this point where it looks like here I'm trying to pitch up and Bixler is uh, pitching down ferociously all the way to the ground. That's where the nose dive happens. So uh, seeing that charted with the GPS speed, that uh, is a clear indicator that there's something wrong. And the hypothesis of the stall based on this data definitely appears to be true. Where this leads me is, as uh, Peter Hall suggested, uh, this Q assist mode. It's something that I had actually read about a couple days before the maiden, and it says it is suggested that you do initial flights with Q assist speed set to zero. The challenge with the Q assist speed, and I understand why they recommend setting it to zero, is to understand how the airframe performs. In my case, I wouldn't know what to set that speed at. So in the future, when I test it, I will probably set it pretty low, uh, maybe nine or 10 meters per second around where I experienced the stall and just to see how that parameter performed. And then when I get more familiar with it, I could dial that up or perhaps get comfortable enough with the airframe where I feel that I don't need to use this parameter and I can set it back to zero. Another thing that I had looked into but did not implement is the uh, stall prevention parameter. And what this does is it will detect a condition that doesn't seem to be right and it will limit the angle at which you can turn or it could raise the speed of the aircraft uh, to prevent that stall condition. Here's one thing that I can say about this setup. My concern from the beginning was that the transition would be really sketchy and difficult and uh, it went off without a hitch. Uh, the firmware did an amazing job. The Bixler handled the transition well. I just needed to throttle up and then I was in forward flight mode. So I'm looking forward to getting back in the air uh, with a similar setup to test the reverse transition from forward flight to hover. But uh, my tip to you guys is if you're out there doing this, uh, pay full attention. You know, there are a few things I did wrong. I was talking to Ryan. Uh, the plane was pretty far out, so couldn't really gauge uh, how hard I was banking, uh, how much speed I had, and all of that. And really, I take full responsibility for that. But the transition was awesome. Look forward to uh, getting it back in the air and sharing more information in the future. Uh, thank you guys for following along. Please feel free to share any tips or comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching. Oh! 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 What happened? Stumped in action. <laughs>